Hello everyone, this is Mike Jack 95 along with my usual cohort who is now currently on his phone. Get off. <laughs> As he calmly puts his everything down. Orphan Joker. Our other cohort, Krieger Marshall, will be here momentarily. And uh, of course, if you enjoy the video, like, share, subscribe, join the madness, like, like always. And this video is quite long, enjoyable. <laughs> It's our first podcast video with our very first guest, as obvious, Harvey Birdman. Or, for some that know, his real name, Dale O'Reilly. Dale O'Reilly. So, uh... Secret identity. Secret identity revealed! Ah! So, um, I guess we shall start off with a simple question. How are you? How was your day? Oh, I am peachy. Peachy? Yeah. Just working and sleeping and... Working where? Uh, I'd rather not say. You'd rather not say? Yeah. <laughs> Is it controversial? Uh, no. You can't say on a... Let's just leave it, okay? <laughs> Let's go to Josh. Uh, <laughs> next question. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> who are you to the channel, I guess he's trying to say. To the channel! Which one? Uh, <laughs> Who's three at some point? Uh, I did go by Harvey Beardman, uh... I have my uh, namesake sitting on the table, actually. Um, part of a, a, a character uh, I played in high school, I guess, uh, to the enjoyment of Mike here. Uh, personally, I'm Taylor Riley, uh, known far and wide as Taylor Riley. Uh, so that's that's it. That's it. Next question. Why are you? Stop! <laughs> okay, Why is Gabora? So to kind of get into, I guess, the character of Harvey Birdman, where did the actual idea come from? You know, I don't really... I can't say it came from one certain place because, uh, you know, I bought this, not this one, but a fake beard and mustache Which from we'll, we'll oh. show on the screen now as he's explaining. <laughs> okay, uh, from from <clears throat> at Walmart uh, back in like 2011. It's been almost 10 years now. Um, but anyway, I just wore it to school one day, and I was like, "Damn, this feels kind of good." Not in a weird way, but uh, <laughs> in, a, in a in a cool way. <laughs> yeah, um, people thought it was funny, so originally I just, it was just beard man. I, uh, it was originally just Beardman. Then, perhaps. And then the name Harvey probably came from you watching like Harvey Birdman, I think. Yeah, attorney at law. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it was actually, uh, uh it was, uh, 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 Richard Pugh, uh, who I'm not sure if he's appeared anywhere on this current channel. Um, but he was an associate of ours uh, when we were younger, and uh, uh, he sort of came up with the the name Harvey Beard Man. So, yeah. Um, Same with for Mike. that, I suppose I am grateful. Same with mine. He came up with Mike Check. I just add the number at the end. <laughs> um. Let's see. So another question. Um, so, very few people know on this current channel that this used to be an old, old channel called Geratron 5000 MV1. Oh, that is so many oh, open Jesus. sores just reopened up. When you first found out that I was doing YouTube, when I told you, what were your initial thoughts? I believe at one point I had been quoted as saying you're an idiot. <laughs> I think um, you told me that you didn't believe me for like the longest time. Yeah, I, I didn't. Actually... I thought you were just recording us for... for. Uh... And then I sent you the links and you were like, oh no. Yeah. Yeah, it all turned out pretty fun though. Don't put this on YouTube. <laughs> Don't put this on YouTube. <laughs> Don't put this on YouTube. Yeah, the... It's, presented right uh, here. I suppose it started when we were... I mean, that's the earliest published like stuff I year, remember yeah. was... Uh, sophomore year stuff for Jared <clears throat> Wrestling in the Creek. Ah, uh, yes. TBFL, the Battle for Leadership, which we'll get into some of that stuff later on. Um, so, kind of tying into this whole podcast thing, um, I also remember doing another, like, 10-minute podcast episode with you a couple times. 
called uh, The Awesome Show. So you mentioned this the other day, and I don't really recall it the whole... Your very, very first well. episode, I remember, and I will show it on the screen, is uh, I was sitting at your back table outside at your mom's house, and I'd already started it, and you said, go ahead and start rolling, I'll come oh, in eventually. Oh, okay. And then about ten minutes in, you yeah. came through the back door, sunglasses, the old beard, night <laughs> shorts, and no shirt. Right. You were like, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's That's true. <laughs> It it's was all coming back to me, it was baby. Like, it's spring too, so it wasn't even cold outside. Thankfully, I probably would have done it even in the winter. And then we did a multitude of like audio recordings, just sitting in your mom's living room at like two in the morning, just talking about dumb wrestling stuff. Yeah, I still have those episodes buried in that computer. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about the <laughs> the awesome show episode. That sounds kind of weird. We can talk about them if you want. I mean, we could. <laughs> You probably don't want to talk about them because you might be like, oh, God, was I an idiot? Uh, I was 16. <laughs> of course, I was an idiot. Um, kind of put a lot of pause on the channel uh, stuff because I forgot to mention this here. Um, how did you uh, actually became friends with me? Because I feel like there's all these other friendships you've gained over the, the years. The far off year of 2005. <laughs> I don't think it was 2005. Um, in the far off year of 2006. We'll, 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 we'll say that. Recess. There I was. <laughs> there I was. Recess. In the woods, naked. Um. <laughs> I spotted not. But. <laughs> You're tripping up here, dude. I don't, I don't know. I was trying to improvise and it wasn't working. <laughs> Uh, you know, Mike and I attended, uh, hey, uh, Doily. Hey, Krieger. Hey. Is that for me? No. Your butt belongs right here. So he's getting ready to tell the story about how, uh, Further, he oh, wait, had in the shot? met me. Yeah, he is. All right, so back in, like, sixth grade, uh, we had a mutual friend, and we actually started hating each other, I think. Yeah. Uh, I mm -hmm. thought Mike was some blonde, annoying kid, and I, you know, now I think he's a blonde, annoying kid. Um, Actually, more like a brunette now because my hair's gotten yeah, darker. Look at you years. growing up, pal. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I don't know. There was some incident involving a shoe. And if I recall right, uh, you got behind me on all fours, and I was hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, the floor's hold yours. Hold on, <laughs> yours. Did somebody you grabbed a little something, something there. Oh, that was in middle school. No, that was that was. <laughs> Seems that was fifth grade. Me, it does. That's why I tried to stop him. That was fifth okay. grade. You did the trip thing to start. That's what started it. I oh, think. maybe. But yeah, uh, like I, got, I don't know. We just kind of hung out with the the three of us, uh, him, I, and and our mutual friend uh, Christian Swiggert. Yes. Um, Swiggies. And he, uh, I don't know. We just kind of been butt buddies <laughs> since then. Literally. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> VHS and VHS too. Hold on. No, stop. That's fast forward. Stop a it. Bit. That's no. fast forward a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, I guess kinda go back to the whole uh, channel I'm thing. Blushing. Um ooh. <laughs> uh, so we got we got through like the, That's a real the channel and whatnot make. and the videos and everything. Um I think the first big major project that I started doing besides the awesome show were the the highlight series. What about that movie? Which movie? The one that you, the uh, the trailer Project Asshole and Project Venom, Venom. Project the, Venom the, the the trailer that I made that was a college uh, I remember college final okay I remember you like around the time when you're doing college day stuff you, you had a lot of stuff like that where you were going out in the woods and filming stuff and yeah that were, that was for a college final but yeah out of the, context this sounds so bad <laughs> it was a college final I did a movie trailer for one of the books I was writing at the he time he was his yeah. alter ego who would wear black eyeliner and a leather jacket <laughs> black eyeliner <laughs> and black spiky hair real edgy yeah we'll get into that in a second but uh <laughs> the highlight series um so <clears throat> I remember I didn't really tell you about the highlight series I just started recording you really didn't like, you, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, I'm recording stuff. You're like, for what? It's like for the end of the year. And then, what was your reaction seeing that very first one? Uh, high, it was high school days. I mean, it was a combination of of, of pure joy, uh, embarrassment, uh, <laughs> as they kept going over. A little the bit of heartache because every time you would make one of those, and you know, I'd look back on the year and be like, oh, 
Windows it's Movie cute. Player. Yeah, Windows, Windows Media, Media Player. That's how it's Shout cute. out to Windows Seven and a half. Yeah, it was seven. Yeah, Windows Two. Windows, Windows Two. No, but yeah, it's that, if that's... Windows is so good, why haven't they made a Windows Twelve? <laughs> <laughs> why isn't there any Windows Infinity? Windows Infi- Infinite? Don't, don't, don't. They're actually because then they'll a... make it and you won't get a royalty. They're actually that's true. releasing. A new this is my proof. Doors. Doors? Your, Windows uh, doors? <laughs> it's called Windows and Doors. And I think from, like, that point on, you, like, kind of became, I guess, in my eyes, as because at this point, it was it was Mike Check 95, uh, the channel was, and you kind of became, like, the focal point of the, the, the comedy of, oh, Sweden's calling you. It's Jerry. Such timing, Sweden's Swe- calling Swe- you. Swe- 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 it literally says Sweden. <laughs> it says Sweden. Sweden number. Uh, the country is calling you. Hey, they may be like, hey, I heard you making a YouTube help, video. We need help with uh, fucking, uh, what's his name? Putin. <laughs> yeah, Putin. Putin. Pewter. <laughs> anyway, as you were saying. Uh, so, I was going to say. Is Jerry Tron dead by this point? What? Jerry Tron? <laughs> yeah, at, at, by the time we get to the first highlight uh, series, Jerotron's dead because there really wasn't really anything going on on the Jerotron channel. Here's a link to the Jerotron channel. <laughs> There's nothing on it. There's it's dead. On it. It's dead and it leave be, it dead. There might be a couple videos, but there, yeah. Um, but yeah, that yeah. reminded me of Riddle Tron. Riddle Tron. Five thousand. Five thousand. Riddle me this. Jerotron. Riddle me piss. <laughs> riddle me piss. <laughs> But I like you kind of became like the main focal point of comedy for the channel for yeah. a while because I mean if I'm going to be honest it kind of became an outlet for myself because I could count on you recording and then being able to look back and be like damn I was so funny you know back now that I'm <laughs> now that I that, was. it sounds very very E- e- egotistical, <laughs> yeah. um, but you know it Terrible was all fun, and I was. There's probably a couple people that actually thought that and didn't like, actually were like, yeah, I get to be on YouTube, or whatever, because everyone, uh, those people, were like, oh, I get to be in a mic video, and I'm like, yeah, we never did sign those waivers. <laughs> it's implied. Uh, Wait, there was a waiver. That's, <laughs> That's not how legality works. <laughs> uh, oh God. <laughs> the canine is doing this. The marshmallow has go, <laughs> fur demon. Oh yeah, uh, I know. Eventually, I stopped doing the the highlight series because I started taking the channel, I guess, a bit more seriously and like less just kind of like funny stuff. That's kind of why I made the vlogs because the vlogs is kind of like the new outlet for the these ones. The current vlogs, yeah, they're they're kind of like the new outlet for the, the family vlog. And, and college is kind of over, so we, it'd be kind of weird to have post college days. I mean, I would do like Act Three, Woody Act Hill. Four, Sad uh, Summer of <laughs> Summer of Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Come the last one I made, pretzel party. The last one I made was like uh, the highlight series 2K19 or something like that. Pittsburgh 2K19 or whatever. I don't know. Like We've the, moved to the place of set. There was three years ago. Mid twenties yeah. would just be a time lapse of us just depressingly working our job. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no. Okay, so you, you mentioned TBFL. Bugs. No. Uh, Go. I didn't. TBFL. The battle, TBFL. The Creek Battles. Uh, the big fat. It's, 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 I'm talking about the, the creek yeah. battles or the Set. creek battles? I'm talking about Down. The, the big fat luncheon. Down. The big fat luncheon. <laughs> I'm, 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 I mean, no marshmallow on the, the couch. No, it's fine. Yeah, oh yeah. We, we had a... Uh, huh? We can talk about the creek battles. Yeah, we had a... Uh, no, not those ones. I'm yeah. talking about the wrestling. Oh, the wrestling the creek. That was kind of... Uh, it was kind of... Geritron's attempt at a uh, organized league of some sort. Yeah, it didn't uh, really go out so well. It was kind of hard to do. In yeah, with no cars. plus we were pretty cringe. Yeah, I also felt like that there was a really high risk of injury in the in the creek. Yeah, parasites, tetanus, nothing. Hit your head on a rock, dying. You know. <laughs> uh, it seemed like one Christian before? preferred a lot of suplexes mm-hmm. in those matches. Yeah, we couldn't really do that. Nope. I think that was also the same day that uh, we went and watched Priest. Ah, priest. That was a good one. It wasn't really, but uh, I enjoyed it. It was it was enjoyable as a as a, you know a comic book flick. That's how I remember that day because literally. we wrestled that day, and then we all got together and went to go watch priest. I think my mother only let me see it because it was about a priest. <laughs> the days of wrestling. <laughs> so we got we did like maybe two matches down the creek beds, and then we kind of just stopped because we couldn't organize anything. 
for a while, and then after that it was just a bunch of random stuff, like posted on the channel. Um, ooh, sweet the October meat. Horror. Oh, sweet the meat. Shut the fuck up. Sweet the meat's in there somewhere. So that. What's sweet the meat, Michael? Stop it. You mean what's sweet the meat? Are we? Hold on, no, stop. We don't need to talk about it. It's weird. Wait, I I don't know what this is. <laughs> Here's Please the elaborate. <laughs> So it was the middle. It was the middle of one of our cooking episodes that we were recording. Oh, that's what we did next. <laughs> <laughs> we did cooking episodes. Yeah. Cooking episodes. That's funny right. of those. Oh, the cheeseburger T-shirt that Christian had. <laughs> oh, the, the T-shirt. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant we tried cooking a T-shirt. The day that like, he mm-hmm. tore oh, up. Oh no! Your Hold dad's on. kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Mike, did you make a music video of that too? Of what? Him in the hamburger T-shirt in Taylor's kitchen. I made a, a lot of videos with that man and a cheeseburger in the kitchen. And music. I made a promo out of it. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the real question is, will the, the meat ever be sweet again? Uh, probably not. You know, my not. cholesterol's already too high. <laughs> you know, I'm getting ready to hit 28, so probably not. We've been all this over. meat is a sweet... All I'm saying is we've been all over all over this whole. I life. did discover that I'm Italian. I'm also lying. It's just a joke. <laughs> uh, I'm really good at being Italian. I like, to, I like to pretend because it's the only thing I'll have that's worth anything. Ooh. in my. Here's a good story. That's a dishwasher. Sorry. Okay. Here's a good story. So, so, since we're on the topic of cooking food at your dad's house, why don't you tell the viewers about your story about gasoline bread? No. Gasoline okay. bread. I'll do it. Gasoline okay. Bread. So it's your turn to take the reins on this one. So I've told the story to everyone. <laughs> oh, I. Do you mean swings? Uh, yeah, so uh, after these yahoos uh, uh, dirtied my kitchen and didn't clean it up, uh, I don't actually hold it against them. You were the only one with the car at the time, too. Oh, uh, <clears throat> if I recall, we were disposing of trash, and there was some... It was like old... Fried chicken or something? Yeah, chick- like a something. Chicken. I don't know. It was a bunch of garbage, but there was some some uh, uh, like rotten chicken. No, it was the, it drop the chicken part. The chicken's not important. <laughs> not anymore. Um, <clears throat> Somebody say chicken. Anyway, there was like some flour, or some some something in there. Uh, anyway, we took all the trash out to the driveway, made of gravel, and we decided to burn it all because we didn't really have a way to dispose of it. So. We uh, lit this bag of trash on fire, and it wasn't burning fast enough for my taste. So what I did was I poured gasoline on it. The gasoline, uh, uh, sorry, the fire, uh, as fire does, uh, leapt up the stream of gasoline onto the the the, the tank and uh, kaboom. No, thanks for it. Was, it was a plastic if, can. Oh, okay. It was just plastic. If it had been metal or pressurized or anything like that, we probably would have been fucked. You probably would have but been anyway, telling the story. Uh, the the trash was burning. It was a flame, and I was holding a flaming tank of gasoline, and I, uh, <laughs> I, I threw it into a field of grass like a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> um. Th- people do funny things when they're panicked. <laughs> uh, I just imagine you saying, "Oh God!" and then lighting the fuel. Pretty yeah. much what happened. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, anyway, we we we. Uh, fuck, I'm stumbling like a motherfucker. Uh, Getting embarrassed? No. <laughs> I'm I'm just trying to recall it and speak at the same time, which isn't really working. Uh, anyway, so uh, I could not remember for the life of me how to put out a. Uh, <clears throat> I guess it would technically be a chemical fire. Um, so I, I tried every trick in the book. Oh no, because this is where the flower comes in. Yeah, I read that flower. you're supposed to uh, smother a flame with a flower uh, for like uh, uh, oil or some shit. I don't remember. So I, I don't know. I, I had all my steps mixed flower? up. Flower. Yeah, maybe. Flower go boom. Yeah, yeah no. No, grease fire. No, yeah, flower no go boom. Just <laughs> put out a grease fire with flour. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so I yeah. poured flour onto the flaming bag of trash, and it kept flaming, uh, you know, as flames do, and uh, <laughs> that didn't work. That so uh, I was like, okay, next step, pour water on it, and that just made it worse because it's uh, I just... That's what... 
it just spread the gasoline out. So I was at my my third choice, and that was smacking the fuck out of it with a towel. And uh, dry towel. Like- None of that really worked. It kept flaming, but so we just let it burn. Because um, th- by the end of the towel like beating, I think it was died down at that point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was pretty much done. But then we noticed uh, that through the flour, water, and flame mixture, and sort of and- mixing it up with with the towel. <laughs> We had made some sort of <laughs> Nate. some sort of unleavened bread <laughs> in the garbage, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, we didn't eat it, of course. Yes, be nasty. But this was about like a thirty to forty-five minute time span of this whole thing happening, from the moment he lit the trash bag to the moment <coughs> the fire went out. Um, I think. Do you think this is one of the moments that you look back on and regret that you didn't eat the bread? Uh, you should have ate the bread. It's some good <laughs> fucking bread. Not particularly <laughs> because it like the most amazing homemade sourdough that you've ever had. Yeah, it'd be real sour though. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be very spicy. As well. <laughs> <It'd> be spicy. <laughs> <laughs> this bread is trash, literally. Well, this is also that was also not Harvey's first running with fire too. He has also played with fire and uh, pumpkins. Yeah, I don't think you recorded that one. Fire we, you to record we didn't record either. But you were like, things. no, you're going to set the field on fire again. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, because I thought yeah. you were going yeah. to. Redo it. I want that, but on camera. Run it this back. Time. <laughs> Taylor, didn't you light a dorm room on fire one time? Like the floor? I've lit many what? a room on fire. The floor? I remember, you, I remember you did that to my bar in uh, Summerfield, too. Yeah. Yeah, I sure did. He did it too. Uh, uh, okay, like I didn't like arsonize it. Well, no, but you we lit just, a full flame on it. It was fine. It was isopropyl alcohol. Oh, that's cold fire. It, See, it doesn't look, burn anything. Cold fire. That doesn't make yeah. sense to no, me, but I'm sure the, it, it didn't. But it definitely panicked me when I walked in the kitchen. What did you think was gonna happen? You make just regular food. He's talking about the time Not we were making fires. mac and cheese at six in the morning, and he came home from his overnight shift. Yeah, and the, and the kitchen was on fire. Because it, it was a memory where I you... I think we're talking about two different things. It is two different things, but we're transitioning to that story Because you, you, you were having like a late night at my place. I was already asleep. There was a party. Yeah, it was like a party or something. Was... You were making mac and cheese. And something happened and it caught the stove on fire. And that was when he walked in and was like, Oh yes, I get to make some food and go to bed. Why is there fire and smoke in my kitchen? <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, that. And the smoke, and the, <laughs> don't, don't pay any attention. <laughs> and the smoke alarm is going off, and I somehow slept through the whole thing. I, I remember. Being I ex- do not remember this. I remember being so excited because I was like, you know what? I got I got off a little early because usually I get off at six, but I got off at three thirty, and I was like, maybe people are still up and they're drinking, and I can enjoy the party. And then I, and I walked in, and there was just fire in my kitchen. Everything was going off. <laughs> it was like you and one other person in there, I think. And you're just like, oh yeah. <laughs> I have fire, fire cheese. Welcome home. <laughs> Want some burnt mac and cheese? Good thing I we really, got Richards and Jones. Yeah, I really don't. I don't, I don't recall that, but it, it was, sounds like a funny story. It was when we first yeah. moved here and we lived at the apartments over there. Yeah. A lot of that's kind of blocked out for most people. Those are the dark times. <laughs> There's a lot of dark when times. When we moved out, they said that, that we had excessive use of our bar that wear and tear that they don't usually see. What? Yeah, they, they like deducted a lot of... It was barely even a bar. It was just like a tiny window between the living room and the kitchen. Yeah. Somebody had spilled like pop or something, or chocolate milk or something on the wall, like the interior wall below it, and it left a little bit of a stain. Hmm. And that chocolate was excessive? Milk. That was excessive. <laughs> they said that was well They beyond. said we can't tolerate this, this oh degradation of our property. They took like $125 out of our deposit. Yeah, we had to pay like 20 bucks back. Yeah, we milk. had to pay money. That's a little in. excessive for excessiveness. And that was, I think that was the only real thing. I mean, there might have been some scuffs here and there. They kept trying to get, they were like, okay, you're going to owe us money. Um, like, it was like $200 or something if you don't come and finish cleaning. So we were like, it looks nice, but we'll just keep cleaning, I guess. And, and then they knocked it down to 20 bucks after going back and cleaning a couple times. Hmm. Really, like, cool. But That's yeah. apartments for you. Seems very shit. Don't leave oh. that apartments. I don't know. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> appropriating my culture! <laughs> <laughs> it's a um. like, Speaking of uh, destruction of property... You get a pass because you're white. Speaking yeah! Of, and speaking Italian. of destruction of property, um, the Wrestling League... <laughs> Oh yeah, at least 
Never mind, we'll broach that subject So, later. I was going to try to lead in at the, the Creek Battles <clears throat> into the Wrestling League and whatnot, and so, your thoughts on when we had started recording the matches, and then you realized, oh wait, this is actually a serious thing. I just thought it was fun. Like, did you ever not realize, realize that, oh wait, we're actually going to make something out of it? Uh, not particularly. But... <laughs> Did we make anything out of it? We had a fun two and a half years. <laughs> yes, we had fun. We had very much fun. A lot of fun. A lot of minor injuries, And 50 too. people watched. Oh, we had a solid 60 some 200 people. people watched. That's pretty big. big. It's a lot of people. Yeah. You have it any, is. First seen sweaty guys wrestling in the living room. Do yeah. you have any good That's memories good. and bad memories of the league at all? Yeah, <clears> small talk about? Uh, yes, the bad memory was when... <laughs> Just one bad memory? Yeah, the I mean, the baddest much. of memories. The worstest. This is the, the worst memory. Okay. Um, was, can I, can I mention people that don't show? Yeah. Okay, uh, getting choked yeah. out by Austin Smith. <laughs> that was a like, terrifying. He's a scary he little twig boy. Like, this, yeah. <laughs> he had me in like, I don't know, he had my, my throat against his... his Whatever that is, his, his, shit, his, 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 yeah. his thigh. And, and uh, you know, it, it was our uh, submission matches as we did. Uh, I would submit. But basically, you're saying, like, uh, it's your uh, first time experiencing blackout? Oh, no, it wasn't, but it was definitely <laughs> terrifying because that was the closest. I, I mean, I was completely out, and that was, that was terrifying. I had never been, like, out, out, you weren't out, able to out, tap out. first? Or? In the no, thing. no. My, <laughs> my, my, I don't know if Mike still, he probably does still have a video. I have like, a like, yeah. It, like, Mike's the blackout like, happened from up face. here all the way down. You can see it enter my feet. And it was it was pretty terrifying. Was that the time of pre-ref? Like, uh, the camera uh, guy was the ref. ref. Living yeah. room wrestling, no refs. <laughs> the camera guy was the ref. Uh, no rules. No you rules. What was dangerous about Austin is how technical he was. He could just walk something in and then you're... How about your favorite memory or memories? My favorite memory is I do not remember the dude's name, but we are doing our, uh, I don't know if it was like the Royal Rumble or whatever we were doing. Oh, uh, the, the big, the big man. Match. It was like when everyone was the going The very at last it. match we did at Willow? <clears throat> yeah. The, uh, the multi man, the round the world match, uh, Joker likes to call it. Uh, sure. The round yeah. the world match. Uh, <laughs> that anyway, was good. Uh, so I'm, I'm. There's a, the guy. I do not remember his name. Uh, I don't think anyone else remembers him. Could be either. one of Joker's friends. No, no. Uh, I think it was one of Freddy's, but I don't recall. Oh, like Tariq? Maybe. Maybe it was Tariq. Oh, the wiener? Can you call my phone? Wiener? Wiener. Anyway. I was the loser. Uh, he was the winner. Uh, oh, I, okay. I grabbed this. I was, I was salty, but that's okay. It was one of this this tins full of, of game pieces and oh, chess boards the... and all that. And I was just doing it for theatrics, but I smacked him with it. And piece it, it opened and pieces flew everywhere and it was just kind of cool but we ended up not capturing that bit on on camera so yeah the camera whacked out but it was cool at the time and then after that happened everyone just started grabbing the lid and just smacking everyone in the head with the it. lid the salami lid getting a random phone call he's not he's I was trying to look at phone. Oh, okay. um, but, but yeah. yeah like I think Joker is always saying, talking about how like everyone started grabbing that lid and smacking people in the head with it. Because by the, <laughs> by the time that, was, by the time that oh. was done, after like an hour and a half later, that lid was had probably a dent of at least everyone's forehead at least once somewhere in there. And we like rolled up paper, uh, not paper, t- newspapers and whack people. Actually, smacked RJ in the crotch so bad he fell to his knees. <laughs> it was a good night. Oh man, I, th- I thought you were gonna say that uh, your favorite memory was when when you finally won the championship. The world championship. Why would that be my favorite memory? Because you... When I tried to go for every single championship we had and I lost the last match of the night, it was not good for me. No, you, you no. the very first time you won the world championship. Oh. Uh, the very I, first time. I don't, I don't know. Like, you, it was like your third, it was like your third t- try there and you got it. Hooray. Hooray. I, I, it all runs together for now, me. No, I'm not sure of any, um, <clears throat> RDW fans are really watching these videos here, but there's probably at least one or two that I'd still do, especially our one super fan, Marcus. Marcus still out there? He's still out there. He is. You could also <laughs> cut some of these videos and make clips. Yeah, true. Clippies. Um, so, this clip might actually go on the channel too, and the RDW channel we have. Um, people, I guess, I guess 
some people are kind of curious what happened to Beardman, and like why did you just like up and quit? Uh, I got tired of everything. You just got tired of it. Yeah, I was going through a rough time in my life and uh, just kind of dropped literally everything. And age, I'd imagine. No, unfortunately. I know at this point you'd probably be like, yeah. Oh, do it. oh, you mean like I ascended in age? Yeah, I like, thought you meant like, I would try to drop age. I was like, well, <laughs> no, no, nice if I could, but no, no. I meant like, like one thing for us. Whenever we did it again, and the two, two, two other people on the couches here can agree with me is after we did do it again, like we're mid twenties now, and like we were sore for like days, and we all had some kind of injuries or something, like <laughs> minor injuries. But it sounds like the mid twenties to me, fella. <laughs> yeah, like I, it was old man groaning every time I walked. Two weeks kind of thing. <laughs> So. And the only person uh, that did get hurt you the night was the snap. guy running the camera most of the time, and that was Lyson. Yeah, it doesn't help that we we all did several matches a piece in one night. Yeah, not wrestling. And that was that was the one thing that, that would take its toll on a, a gentleman. That was one thing I didn't like about the league is that I would try to plan out matches like all night. Have like each person have at least one match, and then I'd have like three people back out last minute, and so either like you or me would have to pull double duty or something like that, or. Uh, Chicken wood is bad after you as well. Yeah, that it wasn't got really, always so bad. It got bad, very stressful that last year. It, you know, life finds a way. All right, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's uh, life. Uh, as you know. Fine, uh, as you know. Speaking of which, here's a link to our review of Jurassic Park. Um, that you be... self-plugging little <laughs> shit. <laughs> that will probably be on the video <laughs> after that's out. Because... Speaking of which, Michael, cut that part out. Uh, no, it's going to stay in there. <laughs> Oh man! Um, if you guys have any questions you want to ask Mr. Uh, Beardman or Riley here, yeah, you guys haven't really talked free. this entire time. Well, I've, I've, I did, a lot of it's been the past, which I, I haven't really been in up until like 2017. That's it, fair. Oh, it could be anything like currently, like like be like. Oh, okay, how about, what, what I'm saying uh, is, I was waiting for the uh, to catch up to now, so we can ask some questions. So now we're I want to know wh- what is the story behind Gumby. <laughs> the story behind Gumby. Gumby. Okay, um, Gumby, uh, oh, <laughs> there I was at Target, Target is the Target. French call it, um, it was around Halloween time, I think, and there was this Gumby suit for like 30 bucks. For anyone that doesn't know Gumby, which, Lord bless your soul, um, here's a picture that Mike's going to provide right now, copyright pending or whatever, I I'll don't know. I'll just put a video of you wearing it. Um. <clears throat> anyway, I bought it and wore it to the. Oh, I I, I wore it to the house one day, and uh, everybody thought it was funny. I remember. I think it was always a good time when I would just show up with a new hat or mask or outfit or something. Um, you know, I wish I had the money to entertain that. Uh, that part of my personality now because it's just it's just fun uh, dressing up as different mascots I think mask uh, <coughs> yep and then all the fucking like masquerades like random get togethers we'd have like all of us would be at the house just hanging out and all of a sudden I would just bust out of my room with like 15 masks and everyone starts putting them on running around bumping into each other or whatever <laughs> Yeah, like snowball the the bla- the black cat or oh, the, the orange mask and whatnot. <laughs> we do have another mask party because I have a giant Scooby Doo head. Oh my god! And goodness. then you can get Gumby. And then and you be the black cat. You head. came over with the Santa head mask, <laughs> and then said, "I'm not taking this back. You can have it." Was that me that had that? You had the Santa head mask. You wore it over at her house once. And you said, I don't want this, you can keep it, and left. Oh, because it started to stink. <laughs> <laughs> I think most of these masks all stink really bad. Oh, God. Especially I, I, I remembered that the cat's still up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wore it the other day for a video. Wait, are we going to are we gonna uh, YouTube magic masks on? Uh, we don't, I don't know. Do we, we, don't have have we have masks? Is so here's one of them. Is it stinky? I don't know. This is the snowball Probably. mask I was talking about. I don't think it, it ever gets like washed. Joe feet. Oh, no. Like, so. It smells like old mask. Let me, let me. I was going to say, it's sat there long <laughs> enough. Hopefully it's it's clean. We just pass, <laughs> it, pass it, take a sniff. Oh, no, that's... Your, your, your turn. Mm-hmm. It like, my room! It smells <laughs> like me! Yeah, I'm not putting that on. Oh, <laughs> I put it on before. 
take care of. No, you won't. I you will. Want, you want the cuddle? No, you will. I don't. Yeah, yeah when it squeeze, the, squeeze the I head. remember poor Jeffrey uh, <laughs> <laughs> wearing that it's and a, a doctor's coat for Halloween one year and being a gynecologist. <laughs> kind of a kitty doctor. He's a kitty doctor. But no, he came around the corner, started screaming and skipping. I'm the pussy doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. So here's a clip for recognition. It's oh, almost as good as the fairy yes. costume. Oh man, those days were chaotic. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> oh. The slut fairy, you say? <laughs> oh. Leave me alone! Link to this! Link to the. Don't put this on YouTube. I was not going to mention about that, but uh, now they have to know the story about the, the so called slut fairy. What's the slut fuck fairy? The slut fairy. The, it's not the slut fuck fairy, it's just it's the, the slut, slut fairy. I'm like a belt. 35 minutes in, Weems. and we're finally mentioning the slut. Come on. Taylor, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, nothing. I don't have to defend myself. It's who I was. Here's a picture of who he was as slut fair. Well, it's, it should be it should be like a gif or jif. It should just move. See, I feel like at this point, Krieger is just good for for just plugging shit in the video so I can edit it later. He's, he's the... Uh, the plugger. He's an, I'm uh, the plunger. CEO. The plunger. What? I said I'm the plunger. Does that plug things? That's not what plungers do. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware. Oh, you throw them at target signs. Or bald men's foreheads. This is true. Speaking of bald heads. Oh, yeah. That yeah, one I was time. bald twice. Yeah. Uh, you that, do it three that's, times? No. <laughs> that's known as egghead, Mike. Egghead. <laughs> let's get into some, uh, let's get, let's get into some stories that actually were never discussed on the channel anywhere at all. Music, like music DJ? Oh. Walmart. Which... What? Walmart at night. Oh, you mean the origin place of our strategic shopping oh, board. That Walmart. That, okay. <laughs> it's all starting to connect. Right there behind Joker and Krieger. Yeah. The uh, board. I guess, I don't know how long, hold on, let me Google the statute of limitations. Or yeah. however you Because that was right before it. I joined the army and I remember being freaked out about like, oh, yeah, that was in trouble. That was 2016. Yeah. He's Googling some stuff. Go Google's legal stuff. Well, while we're doing that, what about Taylor the Music DJ? I, m I miss the days of partaying with the oh, music. Yeah. yeah, me too. Uh, I kind of, I mean, I I think about it every once in a while. Didn't you say you got rid of it or something? No, I was going to sell my my uh, uh, deck. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. Um, but it's just kind of collecting dust in my cabinet. You still have your drum set? Yeah, it's sitting in the back of my car disassembled. It's been there for probably five years. <laughs> the car's hey, getting the, some good bumps. Time to reassemble the, the band. The, the, the limit for that is five years, so I think we'll be good. Yeah, 2015. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so there's this old abandoned Walmart at like the east, west... Uh, and so I have a specific can you edit that, that we so I don't look oh, like I just a complete idiot? <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know my cardinal direction sometimes either, so you're good. Uh, anyway, on the west side of our hometown, Northeast there was a, a old abandoned Walmart, and I don't know why we decided to do it, but it we were... A, it was a combination of your idea, uh, PX's idea, and Austin Smith's idea. I'd yeah, love to go back and do it again. Uh, were we like Lindberg was there, too. Yeah, Nathan Lindner too. Oh yeah, Nathan was like the leading point. Yeah, Nathan was the one that did. He was, was the one who was doing the goddamn yeah. javelin tosses <laughs> with the <laughs> light. It's like, hey guys, we got to be quiet, okay? So sees a lock, <laughs> starts throwing those across the back of receiving, and then there's fucking there's literally like a locked drawer, and he's like, ah, oh, I can't get open. And then he had like a hammer or some shit. He just started hitting the top of the drawer to break the top of the formica to get through to the drawer, and it was fucking empty. <laughs> uh, it was a locked drawer. That seems uh, like him. Oh, muscle. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know why we. I don't. It's lost time, but yeah, we just. That also tied in with entered like, in old trying to find like, uh, like I've always wanted to turn it into a paintball arena or like a skate park. I think fun. you take a ch well. There's homeless people that game went in there and shit everywhere. And yeah, disgusting. there was one time like it caught on fire too. Like like the inside area of like the car. Like location spot. They're trying to where they used what? to do the part where they used to do automotive stuff on that Walmart. There, there was one day there was smoke coming from inside of that area. So that's when they went in there, took care of it, and then they repainted it after that. That's orange. 
feel like we went in there after it was painted. No, it was right before. Hmm. Would you? I've always wanted to be in there. Was it? Was it worth it? I mean, it, it was neat. We. Um, Did you steal like a chain and the sign and? Go yeah, I don't know where that chain went, and sometimes I miss it. Yeah. Was it inside that piano bench? The piano bench. How I was kept? there hair no, on me? The yeah, I wasn't in there. Um, I, don't I think know. this board is the only thing that we have left that I'm aware of, at least here. There's an exit sign. Oh, in, in your in my room, yeah, I have the exit sign. Okay. I'm trying to think if I have anything. Oh, I, that I in the garage. Don't believe. The exit sign? No, it's in my room. No, I said we could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stole it in the garage. Anyway, I was going through sort of a um, adventurous urban exploring type of phase. Yeah, I you guess. wanted to go uh, out. urban hiking. Yeah, sure. There was one location you guys kept going about back to like four or five times. Uh, it was the runoff tunnels in Tulsa. Yeah, I never got to go there. Are you sure? Oh. No. Well, they were dirty and nasty anyway. Yeah, I never got to go there. I had to work every time. We didn't ever get super far in it. Like, we would walk for like an hour. It was like this huge tunnel that emptied into the river um, and eventually divided off into smaller tunnels. But, like, once we got so far, like, the air got, like, visibly dirty to where (laughs) we didn't feel safe going down it anymore. And plus there was this one tunnel that we tried going up, but it seemed like one of those ones that was, like, endless and... Might have been a, like a sewage tunnel, so we were kind of iffy so about been, just wading through piss. You would have uh, ran into some Ninja Turtles then. You guys ever been ghost hunting? At all? Do any ghosting? We did. Ghosting? We, that one um, rock quarry? That was the only ghost thing that I think you guys tried to do. Oh! Oh! No. oh okay. Light bulb! No, 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 no. Well, uh, we never got there. Never got there? No. I thought we. Like, uh, I, thought, I thought the second time you guys actually got got there, but you didn't see anything. No. Her, uh, the first damn it, time I we don't remember. The first time we didn't get, we didn't go, we didn't get, to, we didn't get that far. Right, because we got to a gate and we found out that they have surveillance. Yeah. We're talking about the same place, right? The, mm-hmm. the like the the the. The hunt. No. Yeah, it was Lahunt. It was like that place. Lahunt? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah it Lahunt. was Lahunt. That yeah, place yeah, yeah. is spooky. Yeah, we, okay, so we couldn't get in the front gate, or we didn't feel correct going yeah, in the, the front gate. Yeah, the first time you guys did. The second There's a time, way to get through a side seat. I don't know what you guys did. Okay, we so. go. <laughs> hold on. Yeah, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Don't taint me with it. Uh, anyway. Yeah, good job. <laughs> uh, so we did, actually. We we hardcore trespassed through somebody's property. <laughs> the second time, yes. I um, wasn't there because I stayed back with uh, with our uh, um, friend from England at the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we, um, the entrance, this place is like a, a, an abandoned town. It's got like a cemetery, some houses, and an old, uh, I don't know if it was like a mining plant, but they made it. It was a cement factory uh, and, and bricks, I believe. Uh, anyway, it, there's a brick, uh, gravel road that led to it and we went one day there was a gate there was cameras so we was like okay we're not going to do this we left we come back another night and we entered uh, this field from like the north side and we a few of us hiked through like uh you know tiny slabs of rock and river and waded through like really thick evergreen tree good and good thing I didn't go that time yeah <laughs> I, I stayed behind. I think. Hold on. I I feel like you were there and you were waiting in the truck with that the was chicken. The, that was the first time. I remember the first time because that was no because me and the chicken. first time was during the day. No. The second time was then. There was a third time then. Okay, maybe it was. There was a third time then. That was that was when I stayed behind. I don't remember. Because that was when you and Brett and Bo and somebody else went. That that third time then. Because I stayed behind, so I wanted to hang out with uh, Abby. That must have been. Well, that was when we were living at Willow. Yeah. Ooh, the Willow dude. Mike, I think you smoke crack. <laughs> I'm trying to compile these stories myself, too, okay? <sighs> I have no record of anything before 2017. Period? Well, I mean, <laughs> of, of the people. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I've been people. friends with Mike for like, a long time. Oh. I've been friends with a lot of the people for a long time, but... 
I, I didn't I didn't do the whole, He's the, learning, whole, the home hangouts. Learning as we go along here. I've been bro hanging out since like what, 2014. Growing out, he says, as they were. But not home, no, no He's home been hangouts. growing all over the couch and the walls. And oh, oh, the oh Bugs already does that. Ain't that right, Bugs? Bugs! Oh, he's, he's that, in... That uh, Mallow? He's in sleep. He's, rest, he's, he's rested. Pa- oh, he's passed out. Is he even on camera? No. <laughs> so, okay. Your first memory of uh, Joker here. This one? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> that you can recollect. Uh, that I can recollect was at one of our little wrestling parties <laughs> over on Willow, I believe. No? Yeah. Were you there? You showed up one time. On yeah, he was Street, there at the very end. Yeah, it was it was me and Mr. Rika's first time. Did they come to Eleventh Street though? No, mm-hmm. no. Not okay, 11. I guess it was, uh, it was this old house they they had. Um, but yeah, didn't really know him, but he seemed like a cool guy. But here you... he is. Permanent mainstay. In what, what's the, the what, okay? Okay, what's the one memory of Josh? Do you remember the most? That's your favorite. The drunk barrel or the <laughs> that was a, the drunk McDonald's story. The drunk McDonald's. Oh, that's a that's a bunch of drunk. Were stories. you there for the drunk McDonald's story? I don't think so. <laughs> I may not have been there for that. <laughs> it was when you. It was this around the same time as you got your hair dyed green. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> as he chuckles in anxiety. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Emo scene phase. Yeah, midlife crisis. <laughs> I don't know why I looked at the microphone like mid-cri- it was a camera. <laughs> it's a mid- hey, if you guys have never had a, a mid christ then you don't know. Can't think of anything. Mid-Christ-Lifus. Huh? You can't think of any favorite memory with Josh here? Or Joker? Really, because I, I love you and I respect you. However. <laughs> I, I, I haven't been around very much. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one will be Plus, the, the, those years where you showed up and up to like three years ago kind of ran together, so... Here's one a little, little bit easier. Your first and or favorite memory of Krieger. <laughs> <laughs> they make eye contact. Fight. Oh. Fight. I don't think he wants me to say. What about However, least favorite? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's unfiltered. I don't know. He's like, now choose wisely. I remember earliest is seeing you come around the dorms, coming just to listen to music in the room. I think that's the earliest. Memory. Yeah, yeah, that was a good times, just chilling, chilling out in the dorm room. Hey, was one of the first times we met you, whenever Nathan and Christian yeah. was <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, I'll yeah. let you tell that story. The buttholes. Yeah, the buttholes. <laughs> oh damn it. You want to tell that story? No, I mean we don't need to. It's it's inappropriate for work. Hey, this is who says <laughs> who says this is, work a safe, this? this is not a, a safe. This is not a safe for work. Video. Okay, so this was like our first time officially meeting. Yes, Krieger over there, and uh, it's honestly the best. <laughs> uh, Mike was picking him up, I believe, and brought him to uh, the hangout spot we had at the time, and. Mm-hmm. Um, Two of our other friends uh, decided to greet him uh, with cheeks, and that's it. So there's some other details too, because I called. We you. We don't need to go into the dirty details. Well, there, I called you, and you. Were, I was like, "Hey, okay, I'm bringing uh, Krieger over," and you were like, "Well, he's gonna have to do the chicken dance before he comes in the door," <laughs> and he kept saying he's not gonna do it. He's like, "All right, well, we're gonna lock it," and so we kept knocking on the door, and they wouldn't unlock it. And so, fi- after like about five minutes, they finally unlocked the door, and that's when the first thing he saw was a gaping asshole. That well, same asshole. Something gaping is. It was stretched! <laughs> and he also farted at the same time. It's getting so weird. <laughs> Listen, we talked about gasoline, bread, and everything. He's not even paying attention over there. I don't know, there's this just, just, just very strong line between gasoline, bread, and. <laughs> Actual gas gaping hole. butthole. <laughs> if, if if you don't do the chicken dance as well, hmm? yeah. <laughs> oh man, um, why don't you put on the new beard? I haven't seen him. Um, no, I'm that's good. a new beard. It's very hot in here. No, I didn't enter just, any just character. Hold, just I'm hold not... it up. There it is. 
you ready to put it on? It looked like this. It feels real. It's because it is. It looks nice. What'd you do? Kill like 15 animals? No. I killed 15 babies. Oh! <laughs> this is all baby hair. That's more... that you The would... scalp hair of infant children. Oh, geez. That's infant. <laughs> infant, not infinite. <laughs> Indefinite. <laughs> it's perpetually being replaced with more children hair. That's how it stays so fresh. Oh. <laughs> so I guess with, with uh, how the channel is going now and with how I've been taking, uh, I guess, content more seriously and everything, um, I guess... Would you like to partake in some more of that stuff? He's whatnot? in the first vlog, mm, perhaps. Like yeah, he's in vlogs. the first vlog, and I'm in the latest vlog. Yes, that's Third also in vlog. the editing process, and, process right now. And the vlog that has grapes, <laughs> and the vlog that a couple movie they're movies. going to the park. Takes vlog. place in a volcano. And it's yours. <laughs> in that one vlog where we almost got to space, but ran out of ran out of fuel. Yeah, it was a. Kind of an upsetting day. Yeah. And frisbees. Frisbees. Kong. Well, I the said that. Um, hmm? I lost the reference. The, the, I do not know what you you're hit, talking you about. Hit, you hit the frisbee against the bottle, and Mike made it like extra loud. Was like, oh. oh yeah, but when we're at the park and everything. The music, music bottle. <laughs> the, that was such a sketchy day. Like, cool. How upset is? Oh, with your driving and everyone yelling at you. Yeah, yelling and. We're like, please let us go home. And I'm like, I have no idea where <laughs> That was it. Well, I guess it's uh, probably it'd be a good point to end it here because I think we've touched base on a lot of stories unless there's anything that you can think of we missed story-wise. Um, um, yes, uh, he has not commented on his take on the, uh, the Tic Tac. The Tic Tac? Yeah, the, the alien spacecraft that was spotted by... Uh, Commander Fraber. Go for it, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you, have you not seen the video? No. Oh, well, there's an Air Force pilot that they had released within this. Does anyone else here know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, well, the, the, the Air Force released <coughs> footage, um, and... I can't say it. There's several podcasts and interviews that this person's done, but the, they recorded a tic-tac-like thing that was actively jamming the radar that would literally go in directions that it's physically not capable of going, and they're pretty sure it was an alien spacecraft. And it's like the government saying, pretty sure this was an alien spacecraft. It was all over the news when it first came out. So, what would be the alternative to what they... And it's a very official... Most of the time, whenever you see stuff like that, it's like a super like crackpot person. This is, the, this is like a de decorated... Crackpot? Like, like a crazy person? Yeah, this is like a de decorated officer. Just like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. And like several witnesses that have all went out and said this, this exact same thing. And official government... like When was this? Documents. This uh, six months ago. Oh, pfft. Oh, that's the when they released all the UFO <laughs> so, stuff? it became declassified. Are yeah, but you... it's still UFOs. It's still unidentified. Doesn't mean it. It could be space rocks on fire, well, or, or as Chinese they were trying to track them on their Chinese radar people. To, to see exact location where it was. It was actively jamming them as it was moving. China's got some high tech it, it, stuff. It would literally, it would literally drop out of the sky and then go three hundred miles an hour in the exact opposite direction with no propulsion system. The yeah, so, Russians got some cool drones, apparently. That's not capable. The only thing I've seen in recent memory that has to do with pilots spotting UFOs with a triangle, oh, not yeah. a tic-tac. Well, a tic-tac? They're tic-tacs. Maybe well, they're jet-powered okay. jet powered Russian jamming systems. We'll look it up sometime. Okay. Uh, David Fravor is the, is the pilot. Maybe he had a little too much shrooms before he went off. <laughs> <laughs> too much. <laughs> Flying while intoxicated. Oh, boy. David Fravor? Yeah. Sounds like he framed it. That didn't, sound, that didn't carry over. Oh my Bad pun. Goodness. Oh. Oh, hey. No, that is the same thing. Yeah. The triangle thing? Uh, well, it does not look like a triangle in this shot. Uh, but like it does in that one. However, there's one that's a triangle and one that's a tic-tac. Yeah. Hmm. Space They're... creatures. Coming to say how... If they don't bring new treats from space, then they are bad guests. 
pretty much it's like that, or it's some government that has a technology that is years beyond our capability they've been hiding. Probably. I mean, that's, I not, mean, that's, that's not unpossible. Very realistic. Yeah. The Would government they... was hiding the iPhone 11 back in 1960. Well, you know, I was going to reference this. <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> what well, the idea is? What what country would have super high tech tech, and then tell everybody? Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, we got some really cool stuff that you don't know about. No one said it was probably the United States, and they don't even tell the pilots that it exists. <laughs> wait, wait, are we? Are, should we have not said that? Please don't kill me. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing. This is a hypothesis. When we only got two hundred. <laughs> Subscribers. I'm, at this point I'm verbally renouncing my uh, responsibility to anything that's said here. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't sign the waiver. No, no, I, we didn't sign the like, waiver. <laughs> oh well, um, fellas, I believe that uh, fellas, dudes, today guys. was a very excellent episode with our guest Harvey Birdman and Krieger when he finally joined in and was on his phone sometimes. <laughs> but um, are there any uh, parting words before we uh, I guess shut things down? Do you want to give to the, the the subs or to us or your friends back home? Mm. No. Anal, 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 <laughs> anal, anal. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're so quoting other people that were saying that line, but he was a, he was at that moment being chased by it. I've my my train of thought is completely derailed. Was it was it was it the the space the space stuff? No, it was the anal anal. <laughs> <laughs> so much anal, so little time. So much anal, so little time. Anal, don't anal. God. Here's where we link every video that Taylor's ever no. been in. No. Cease! <laughs> no. Empty cease! Every link ever in that, the description. That was just for you guys. Part of Mr. <laughs> Riley's career on my channel. There's going to be a new playlist called The Riley. <laughs> I mean, don't give me that idea. That <laughs> A threat. That sounds like something you get in high school from the bully. The, ri <gasps> the you, Riley. You better toughen up or you're going to get the Riley. <laughs> it's like the, the, it's like the things that something. the bully does to that one kid that's so bad that that is what you fear. Yeah. You better watch out. You're going to get the Riley. <laughs> it's like a swirly, but worse. Yeah, it's like a swirly with... You, uh, Go to Bromside like one Riley, please. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really good sandwich. The Riley. <laughs> what would happen? Like bacon and lettuce off or you? Or? Huh? What would be on a Riley? Rye and it, Lee? Mm -hmm. It'd just be <laughs> rye bread with lettuce. With lettuce. A Riley sandwich. Maybe a little that ties mustard. in with you guys telling each other to eat a lettuce while also dying and laughing. Eat a lettuce. And I never understood the reference. Neither do I. You're the one that started it. Mike, many jokes have been lost to time. <laughs> it's probably one of them. <laughs> like quarter past banana? Quarter past banana! <laughs> that was a funny clip. <laughs> mm, quarter past banana. Mike's definitely going to link, uh, like cut a clip of that video right now. Who knows, but... I do. You're going to do it. Until then, this has been a... Uh, very interesting and bumpy, but a fun ride of our first podcast with our first guest, Harvey Beardman. And, uh, Glad to be here. Yes. With our usual cohorts. Krieger Margin 17-1. And joke and a half. <laughs> and Mike Check 95. And maybe in, the near, maybe in the future, when we have a few more guests, you can come back and share some more stories. Certainly. We are signing out. This is Harvey Beardman signing off!